Hey, what's up you guys? It's Lily here and today I'll be doing a highly requested, highly needed on my dolls video. There are two members of the family right there who haven't really been introduced to my channel. I just blew an ant off my leg. Okay, let's get started. My first beautiful doll is Angelina, who is traditionally a Molly doll and she is the first doll I ever got right along with Gilly over there, but we'll get to that later. Anyway, I got them both together on my sixth Christmas. As you know, Molly is in a wheelchair. A lot of people ask me like, hey, why is Molly in a wheelchair? And my only response is, I think that all different types of people should be recognized in my videos. Anyway, that's Angie. And her qualities are resourceful. She's kind of the leader of the whole pack. Very, very smart. She knows what she's doing at all times. My second doll right here is Gilly, and I got her for my sixth Christmas also, along with Angelina. And she is gorgeous. She's traditionally an Emily doll. I got them together because Molly and her best friend Emily. She's the only redhead I have in my entire family, which makes her obviously unique. Some of her qualities, she's more of like the goofy one, and she's very, very playful lots of joy, knows how to persist, but just a little lazy, you know, just just a little. Honestly, if there was one character I related to the most, it would be Gilly. Third doll I ever got was a Kanani doll. After um, falling out of AG for a little bit when I was younger, like much younger, I begged my mom for the girl of the year 2011. And I ended up getting her, and I was so, 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 so excited. And her name is Kanani, but I renamed her Naomi. I think it really was fitting for her. Last year, I made kind of a bold decision to cut her hair off. So as you can see, she has more of like a kit hairstyle than a Kanani hairstyle, which like I know a lot of people were kind of upset just because like Kanani's hair is known as like a staple in the American Girl brand because it was always gorgeous. But since my Kanani was so old and I had really like played with her very heavily when I was younger, she kind of looked worn down and everything, so I decided to fix her up a little. Naomi's kind of like the fashionista of the group. She really, really is into fashion. She's sassy. She gives makeovers for fun. She does Pilates on the weekend and dance on every weekday. And yeah. So the fourth doll I ever got was Mandy. She is a number 42. On, let me check. She's a 23. <laughs> Mandy's a number 23. Um, my parents thought it would be cool for a doll to look just like me, and that's that's what the just like you line was originally for. Excuse me. All right, we're gonna have to go on with that noise, so that's fun. Mandy is awesome. She's sporty, she's nice, she's the youngest out of the entire family, but she still knows how to be a leader and how to be super generous and great to everybody. Oh, I got her for Christmas in 2012. My fifth doll here is Paisley, or Leah, who was the girl of the year for 2016. There was a huge gap in between Mandy and Paisley because I kind of fell out of American Girl. Then I realized there was a G-Tube and I came, became involved. And so I got Paisley as kind of a recognition to being back in AG and I love her so much. I remember how psyched I was when she came out. Her collection kind of reminded me of Kanani's and Jess's. I still thought she was gorgeous and I'm really lucky to have a Leah in my family. Also eyebrows on fleek. I went to the store on January 1st, 2016 and bought her and I love her so much. Some of her attributes are she's very, very kind. I know I said that for all of my dolls, but she's very, very kind. She does volleyball. She's very active in the photography community and she loves to swim. My sixth doll here is Aria. She is the number 46. I love her so much. She actually retired um, this year as Gabrielle came out. I honestly I think they look extremely similar, but I'm not one to talk, so. <laughs> anyway, I got Aria um, in the spring of 2016. I uploaded a new doll video just for her. Some of her attributes are she loves nature, she loves drawing, and she loves painting. She's also the oldest of all of the roommates. The seventh doll I have yet to formally introduce is Tucker, and I love Tucker so much. Tucker is my first boy doll. He is a custom number 56 with a um, custom wig. He took me like a week to make. There were some malfunctions with the wig. 
Um, but a secret, um, his wig is not glued on yet. <laughs> He's, um, very new to the family. He's only been in one video so far, at the very end of my boys video. And some of his attributes, he's not really a sporty guy, but he also loves nature, and he loves biking, and he loves his dog. The final member of the family that this is actually the first time she's ever appearing on my YouTube channel, so that's really exciting. This is Charlotte. I just got her, honestly, like a month ago. I had been searching for a Marie Grace mold um, for like a year, probably more, probably more than a year. Anyway, she is a Marie Grace doll with Marie Grace eyes and a number 56 wig. I think she's absolutely adorable. She's so cute. Oh, for some reason, also, she's shorter than every other doll, and it's super weird. I don't know why, but anyway, she's adorable. I haven't really figured out what I want her to be like yet, but it seems like she just looks like a kind person, you know? I've already, like, what I can get from her is that she's very kind, she loves reading, definitely, and she loves outdoors. I hope you guys enjoyed my All My Dolls 2017 video. I'm so, like, blown away. I never realized I had this many dolls until I, oh, yikes. Alright, no, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I really, really hope you're having an amazing summer. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to have more AGSMs up soon. Bye!